Hey everyone, it's Carissa and I am here with a project for you. This is a card project and this is actually my project for the September My Pink Stamper Design Team post. So we are actually using the My Pink Stamper Spookalicious stamp set with all these fun little Halloween sentiments. Um, so let's get started. I have here, I'm going to be making, I think they call them a Z Fold card, I don't know. But um, let me set this stuff aside. I have all my pieces cut to make it easy. And this is my card base here. And it is um, five or five and a half by eight and a half, and then I scored it at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. So I can fold it like in half, like you would a regular A2 size card. And then I can fold this panel back again, and it creates like a Z fold. And I'm going to start by just taking this patterned paper here, and this is from GCD, and I am going to cover these panels of this card. Okay, so my card panel is covered, and um, these are just four and a quarter by five and a half, and then two and an eighth by five and a half. And I didn't really make sure that my patterns matched up because I am going to be putting quite a large panel, and I think that your eye is going to be detracted from it anyway. But if you weren't going to cover so much of this up, you may want to try to make your patterns match up here. So I can set this aside and start working on my uh, focal piece. This piece of paper is from the Lime Twist Go Fly a Kite 6x6 pad, and this piece is a piece of Lucky Limeade from Stampin' Up. This is cut at 3x4, and then this is cut at 3 and an eighth by something longer than 4. I'm not sure. I didn't measure. It's just longer so that when I punch this with the Drippy Goo Martha Stewart punch, that um, it will hang out the bottom. Okay, that's mounted and I can set that aside and bring in my spider web here. This is gonna need a second to dry after I um, kinda enhance it a little bit. And um, this is cut from the Everyday Paper Doll, or no, Paper Doll Dress Up Cartridge. And the size is four and three quarters inch and that is not um, real dial size or anything, that's just four and three quarters. And then I have some Perfect Pearls powder here and the color of this is actually the Perfect Pearl color. And I'm just going to take my brush here and dip it in some of that and then go over this um, and kind of give it that shimmery appearance that a spider web kind of has that iridescence to it. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing here. This is also going to help set it off from the other pieces that I'm using that are black on there and I just I don't want them to blend too much together. So once I get that all kind of coated, I can take my water here, and I just have a mini mister here, and it's just regular water, and I'm just going to give it a few light spritzes, and that just um, sets that perfect pearl powder on there. And then I can set it aside to dry. So the next piece I'm going to kind of embellish is this witch hat here and this hat this hat was also cut from the paper doll dress up cartridge and it's cut at four and a quarter and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take um some score tape here i'm just going to rip a piece off and i'm going to create this band across the front of the hat here i'm just going to line that up with the band that's already kind of there and then i'll use my scissors to trim that down And now that I have that score tape across there, I'm going to um, peel off the backing to reveal the sticky, <laughs> as I call it. And I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper here. And I am going to use this onyx glitter from Martha Stewart's Crafts. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on there. And then I kind of like to press it into that adhesive. And then I can remove it, tap off the excess, 
and I have a nice little glittery band across the bottom of my witch's hat. And then the rest of this can just go right back into my glitter jar. And then just to finish this little hat off, I have this little purple um, glitter embellishment and I just picked these up at one of the larger craft store chain stores. And I'm just gonna put that right on the center, kind of like a buckle. And then the hat's done and I can set that aside. So the next part I'm going to work on is actually the broom. And this broom was also cut from the everyday, or from the, I'm sorry, I keep saying that, from the paper doll dress up cartridge. And this is cut at six and a quarter. And because this is one of the older cartridges, it doesn't really have the layers. So what I'm going to do, I just cut it twice. And I want the handle a different color from the broom base. So I just cut the broom base off. And then I'm going to ink it with a little bit of brown ink just to kind of make it look a little dirty. And then I can adhere this right on to the other portion of the broom. Okay, so the next piece I'm going to work on is actually my sentiment. And this is from the My Pink Stamper Spookalicious Stamp Set. And I am going to have um, this sentiment that says, if the broom fits, write it. So I just have some memento black ink here and a little strip of, it's a half inch and uh, very vanilla paper. Just going to ink that up. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of room over on that left side so that I can add an embellishment to the beginning of that as well. So there's that if the broom fits. So now that says if the broom fits, write it. So for my final bit of stamping, I have this piece of very vanilla cardstock. This is actually going to go on the inside of my card because if you'll recall, I kind of covered it with all that black pattern paper and so I have the happy Halloween sentiment and there's a little spider that comes in that set as well and I am going to ink that up in the black ink as well and I am going to stamp that right at the bottom of that piece And now I can start kind of bringing this all in and assembling it. So this piece, this inner piece is actually going to sit behind it. It's going to give me a place to write. So I'm going to go ahead and start by adding adhesive just to the one side of this piece here. And that will go and just kind of overlap right there. Push that down. And then I can mount the inside. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to put adhesive on the back part of my piece here. And then I'm going to just put it kind of towards the, on the inside, kind of line it up like this. And then just hold it there and close my card. I just want it to be concealed. I don't want it to be hanging out. So there's that. And then there you can write your sentiment there. And then I can start layering this up. So here's my spider web. And it's okay to me that it hangs off a little bit. I kind of like that. Um, just adds a little more dimension. And I'm just going right over this with some adhesive here. Just like that. And the next piece that's going to go on is my broom here. And I'm going to have it coming across, kind of hanging off like that. And then I can bring my witch hat in. And this one I'm actually going to put on dimensionals. And I think I'm going to put it on 
a couple layers. So I'll just add some dimensionals on the back and then add some to the top of those to make it a double layer. This goes just like that. Okay, so I've taken my sentiment and I've added it just to this piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. I'm bringing the purple in in a few different places um, and it's just an accent color, but if I carry it around the card more, then it looks more purposeful than if I just have it right there. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna cut just a slight bit off of this and then make my banner ends here. And then my final step is just going to be to take this um, purple glitter accent again. I would call it a brad, but it's not really a brad. It's more like a, I don't know, a button or something. And I am just going to add that to the beginning of the sentiment. And once again, it's carrying that purple into three different places on the card so that it looks more purposeful. So there is my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.